So how, how has everything kind of played out there? When did it start for you guys and what has it looked like in these last couple months? Well, we were just calculating. Um, February, I think 20th was the last day our kids went to school. Mm -hmm. um, Cause right around that time is when the breakout started happening. Yeah. Um, and the official closing the schools happened the next week. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the week after that, everything just basically shut down because in our region in Veneto, um, there were, there was a huge outbreak of the coronavirus. Um, and next to us, the region next to us in Lombardy, there was the biggest outbreak of all where mm -hmm. just hundreds of people were getting it every day. I mean, and it was exponentially growing. So thousands of people were getting it every day and then hundreds and hundreds of people were dying and it got up to almost a thousand people that were dying, um, just in these areas, really, really bad. Um, so that happened in February when it started. March is when it was really bad. We've been um, in total lockdown since the first week of March. And by total lockdown, that's like, you can't leave your house for anything except for the groceries, to go get groceries or to go to the doctor or to the pharmacy. And you have to have a permission slip for that. Um, and yeah, so you're yeah. basically in your house that whole time. I think one of the things that everybody has experienced during this time is an appreciation for fellowship because there's mm -hmm. just been this like longing, this deep longing, um, probably for everyone who's in quarantine to be together again, um, with people who think the same way. I don't know. I can't speak for everybody, but I've seen a lot of people really having their eyes turned up to heaven and really this, the spiritual life that we have, um, through this quarantine, yeah. like everything is stripped away. And, um, it just seems like there's been a real like revival spiritually in people's hearts and the thing that people don't realize is you know we're the born again christians are one percent of the population here in italy wow. and our church in Montebelluna is the first protestant bible teaching church ever planted in the history of this city and a lot of our congregants come from other towns 20 30 40 minutes away because in their towns they don't have a church mm -hmm. so that's you know keen into what she was saying there's there's that need for fellowship and they're mm -hmm. driving from far away and we were having these um you know these these lockdown measures where you weren't allowed to leave your city mm -hmm. so now it's a big thing to be able to drive to another city we had to have a special protocol signed by the prime minister um saying that come from another town because in every city there's a catholic church a parish church or whatever mm -hmm. and the catholic church got their own protocol but the amazing thing God has done is he's stirring the hearts to unite the Protestant churches, which our pastor said, this has been the first time since in all the 30 years he's been here, mm -hmm. uh, that they got together and signed a document together uh, asking the prime minister to set a specific protocol of how we can do this so that we can minister to the people here.